You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox on Carol OS. That was Black Sabbath, a track called War Pigs, The Clash, White Man, and Hammersmith Pally, Silver Sun Pickups, Panic Switch, The Saints, I'm Stranded. And we started off with T Rex, Mambo Sun. I'm here with my guest, 311, Nick Hexham, and Peanut. How you doing? I love the way you say that. How you doing? <laughs> I love the way you say that too. Keep talking. <laughs> you got a, you got a voice for radio. Where'd you get Where'd you get that uh, nickname? Have you had that since you was a kid? Be honest. P- peanut. My ill-shaped cranium. It looks doesn't look like a peanut. You should have seen it when it was fourteen. I'm forty-two now. <laughs> Plus, he had this shaved on the sides and hair on top, so it made it look extra long. Yeah, and I was and rocking pe- out like a teenager, so I think that, that, that elongated it, you know. It came from a, a Just from a the rock G-forces and roll experience. of banging his yeah. head, actually, <laughs> elongated his head. Yes, yeah. Do, do you not like that, <laughs> being cool peanut? Oh, uh, it, it's funny. I, I haven't grown into it that, that elegantly. I'm, I'm, I'm more Aaron than peanut. I think in my 20s, I was, I was all peanut. I'd yeah. call up the... I call up anybody. Hey, it's Peanut. You know, it's like, yeah. you know, now I'm now I'm a dad, and all those things. But it, it's funny to to try and grow with it. Do you have a boy? I got two boys. Peanut Junior. Some legume, <laughs> or another cashew nut. <laughs> cashew nut. A little pistachio. Something that doesn't take up too much water, like almonds. Something something more earth conscious. Almonds. Okay. You're being sarcastic, right? Almonds take so much water. That's what right? I'm saying. Yeah. 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 And we make them all here in California where we have no water. Mm. Awesome. I, I was, the uh, more you know. <laughs> I, I was just talking yesterday that how uh, um, um, Monsanto has gone quiet lately with Monsanto. I haven't heard about them in a long time. Didn't they change their name or something like that? I think That's why. Isn't that what they happens? They changed their name. <laughs> like Blackwater turned into something else. It's like, oh, we'll just change the name. We're not Halliburton anymore. We're, We're E3 or something. You think so? <laughs> Something weird, yeah. They just go underground under a different moniker. Because they get a bad rap, right? Yeah, but they're still evil and they still run everything. Yeah. And what about water? <laughs> yeah, everyone's buying up water. What you know? What about it? Nestle Nestle goes into into countries and buys up their water. How how legal is that? Yeah. Next, there'd be a. I'm sure if there was a way to to uh, buy air. Hey, we'll figure it out in Los Angeles. We'll figure it out here. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do, you, do you think you, do you think the uh, the times are grim then? <laughs> they can be. You can see it from that perspective for sure. Okay. Next next question. What do you know about um, the lines in the sky? Oh God. <laughs> I, I know nothing. What are I they know, spraying? I know nothing. You can you can. It, it depends on what answer you've already told yourself. And if you've told yourself that the answer is that it's it's nefarious and that they're putting cadmium and and all kinds of heavy metals in the in the air to control the weather, then that's that's what you're going to reinforce. Well, that's I, I would not, I, I I believe that there is something. I see it, but I'm I never get a straight answer what it is and what it's for. That's that's, what, that's all I want to know. That's what it's supposed to be is weather control. If if you see it on the dark side of things, but. Any anybody else who doesn't believe that will tell you, and they'll reinforce their own belief that that it's just um, cold, cold air freezing up there and then spreading out, and not doing anything. You know what I think them lines are before music. Lines a blow for Jesus. Nice, <laughs> Jesus needs more blow. <laughs> I'm with that. Nick, He's a fiend. Nick, Nick hasn't said right. You guys are doing great. I'm just, <laughs> I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> so you guys going on the road, right? You got a gig at uh, the Hollywood Palladium, August at 19th. Wow, that's miles away. Are you doing any sh- this shows before that? Oh, plenty. Uh, around the record release date on June 23rd, we're setting out on tour and be touring nonstop until towards the end of August. And we just played... Uh, a big uh, radio fest here in town. We're getting ready to do the Cannabis Cup up in Northern California. So uh, we're busy, busy, yep. busy summer. That's like forty shows this summer, forty plus. You just just in America, or you be going to Europe. We're hitting 
wildly exotic Canada as well for the first time in about eight years. Yeah, yeah. we'd we'd love to go to Europe if you can get us a gig. Yeah, can you get us a gig? <laughs> you you don't you're not known there. You must be known there. We we are, but it it's we're so used to spreading out and and um, it it's hard for us to start over again. It's always like starting over again. They're a little neglected yeah. over there. And yeah. we're and we're spoiled. Our few fans over there are mad at us that we don't get them. But you don't drive over there. Yeah, yeah. Do you but still like playing? Do you still like touring? Love it. Love it. Yeah. Hate being away from the family, but bring them out. You do. Yeah. In America. Yes. You wouldn't bring them to Europe. Took them to Europe for Thanksgiving last year. Took them to England. Did they like it? Loved it. Did you see Big Ben? Just for a second. They mm. were supposed to go to Peppa Pig Land, but they didn't do it. Yeah, yeah. What's that? It was an amusement park based after a, a fantastic cartoon. It's huge in England, Peppa Pig. I have no idea. <laughs> I couldn't tell you what's going on. I, 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 I it was cold there. and windy and raining. It was great. It's exactly what I wanted. Yeah. Yeah. My English heart was singing. You, you got what you paid for, man. Mm -hmm. Totally. It was wonderful. It was like two weeks. Did you see Sherlock Holmes? I think I saw his bones walking around. That was extra. Uh, that you had to pay extra to get him to walk past you at s some point. I was just happy to be there. I, d I didn't, didn't realize how much I missed it because it's been so long since we toured in Europe. So uh, it was just great. It's like, well, if the band's not going to take me, I'm so used to the band taking me on all these adventures. It's like, I miss Europe. Can't wait to go back to England. Yeah. We're going. Yeah, yeah. So you got a new album, Mosaic? Correct. And it's coming out June 23rd. 17 songs long. 12th album any any long tracks like tangerine dream like stuff you know the the one we're going to uh, play later today uh, uh, radio world premiere too late that's a fairly long song it has baby basically like three outros at the end of the song um <laughs> there we have a couple what we call epics which are five minute plus songs that uh, go into a lot of different movements and get a little bit prog but hopefully that's good <laughs> Hopefully like not prog. too annoying to the punk leaning fans of ours. I uh, when I was a kid, teenager, I used to hate prog, but now I love it. It's funny to me that is like the most punk rock of all. Prog rock. I mean, they, they did, never look for singles. They did what they want. They did exactly what they want. Right, eight minute songs. The, uh, this guitar actually is a Steve Howe from Yes uh, edition of this. Does this it have his name on it? Something. It doesn't, but he. He curated it, so um, I was like, "Is this of the wrong guitar to bring to a uh, Sex Pistol?" No, no. <laughs> radio show. <laughs> Did you see him on the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? I missed it, but the guys were talking about it. He's pretty skinny, Steve. Al. I thought he was dead. Well, I guess he's not. He looks dead. Slight improvement. He looks like a skeletal. <laughs> Somewhere between skinny and dead. But sweet though. <laughs> but you know who's funny is Rick Wakeman. Rick Wakeman is so funny got a good sense of humor See, our f our first two albums were produced by eddie offered who did all those classic yes albums yeah and uh he he was out there he is he, he's still around and a great guy and had a, a ton of uh weird stories about yes and how they would argue about just put this in but leave it in in the background in reverb yeah. and he would freak out why don't we just put the whole album in background in yeah. reverb <laughs> yeah they were like real musicians them guys He's a good, he's a good uh, guitar player, though. Yeah, I should rip into Roundabout if I knew it. Yeah. I can whistle it. I could hack the bass line into pieces. <laughs> um, that I was uh, talking to someone the other day about guitar players and how English guitar players are not really, really fast, but there's a lot of American players who are really, really fast. It's crazy how much it's evolved. And, you know, if maybe if we started out now, we would have had such a, like, because they're all learning how to play on YouTube and stuff. And it was so right. hard to learn back in the early 80s when I started because you just had, like, one crappy music teacher down the street and the rest was just, you know, playing Clash albums and trying to figure it out. Play it by ear, yeah. yeah. That's how I learned. All these kids today, they're so spoiled. They don't know. I mean, my kids um, just got done perform. My, my oldest daughter performed at the Avalon. She's seven years old in, in the rock band program from her school. Yeah. I mean, nothing like that, of course, existed. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah. It's, it's changing and, and like you were saying like prog rock was kind of poo-pooed and like technique and all these skills was kind of it, it was either appreciated or it was hated yeah. you know so so for kids to be able to have access to that anytime and to be able to refine their technique and then be able to play faster yeah is just one of the benefits of living right now yeah and having rock programs in school well we're here with 311 let's play a bit of yes roundabout jones's jukebox carlo s you're listening to jones's jukebox on KLOS with my guest 311 it's beautiful we're making noodles alright noodle time
Let's play the new hit by Free Eleven. Too late on Jones's jukebox.